We are still in Genesis chapter 12, looking at the life of Abraham and his calling, and this is verse number 5. Then Abraham took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people whom they had acquired in Haran, and they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan. When Abraham got to Canaan, he didn't know it was a land that God had promised to give him. He left the heir of the Chaldees, settled a little bit in a land called Haran, and then moved from Haran uh, onwards, looking for the land, the promise of God that had been given to him. So all he was doing was simply moving at God's command and trusting God to lead him. Because when we obey God, he guides us. Every act of obedience to God positions us in the will of God. Uh, because when we do what God has asked us to do, he leads us in the way we should go. And that's what has happened to Abraham. He didn't really know where he was going, but because he had obeyed, God was guiding him. God's guidance is not always obvious. Abraham was being guided by God, but he didn't even know he was being guided by God because many times we think if God is guiding us, there has to be a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud before us. Then we can say, oh, that's God uh, leading us. Uh, we're looking for something spectacular. But just by obeying God, God was guiding him. He didn't know what was happening, but every step of his was ordered by the Lord. Because God orders our steps when we walk in obedience to him. And God leads us one step at a time and one day at a time. How did Abraham get to the land of Canaan? He got there by waking up every morning and walking. Wake up every morning and walking. One day at a time. One step at a time. He had no idea where he was going. There is a place for having vision and setting goals and knowing where you're going with your life. And it's good for us to plan and to have an idea where we go uh, or where we're going with our lives. But there are times when God takes you places you never planned to be. And God is able to give you things you didn't ask for. And God is able to bless you with blessings you didn't pray for. And that's what is happening to Abraham here. He didn't know where he was going, but God was leading him. He didn't know whether uh, he will arrive in the right place, but he got to the right place. And that's how your life is. There are things you have planned for that God will do for you, but God is able to do far more than we can ever ask or think about. In other words, things that you didn't pray for, you didn't ask for, you didn't plan for, will happen to you. And I'm talking about good things, not bad things. That is God ordering your steps and guiding you. And if there's anything you need uh, from the Lord is that he guides you without you even knowing he's guiding you and bring you to the place that he has appointed you to be without you knowing. In my own personal life uh, and as a pastor, I've seen that happen many times where things happen that you didn't plan for, but God does it for you anyway, anyhow, because he's sovereign, he's a ruler, and he blesses according to his own mercy and his compassion. And may the Lord order your steps like Abraham and bring you to the appointed place. Even if you have no clue, you will land in your Canaan as Abraham did. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are my guide and leader. Order my steps to the place you want me to be. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May the Lord order your steps to the place he wants you to be. You will get there. You certainly will get there. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace and life to you.